Hi everyone. So today I'm going to, or er, now actually, because I already filmed one today, but right now I'm going to talk about there's this book series that I really like, and it's called The Magicians by Lev Grossman. If maybe some of you have read it, I don't know. But anyway, it's really great because it's like Harry Potter and Narnia combined. It's about well, one of the main characters, or at least where we start the story off with, is Quentin. He is 18 and he's going and he gets accepted to this magical college called Breakbills. But we don't but and then we find out later that Quentin is obsessed with these book series called Fillory and Further, which is basically our which is basically their version of the Narnia books. It's about these five children who go into this magical land through a clock, which is like Narnia where four children go through a magic go to a magical land through a wardrobe and they both and both Narnia and Fillory take place in the 1940s, though uh, The Magicians takes place in like 2010, around that time period. So really recent, because that was when the book was written. Um, but anyway, so I, I think it's just such a great series, and I really like it, you know, because it's just, it's really interesting, and it, and it has, it's more of an adult type of book, you know, it's or adult slash teenager type of book. Not as much as, because Harry Potter is something that anyone can read at any age, but it's more, but other stuff, but the missions it's more meant for teenagers and adults, which is really interesting. And so, but anyway, so I was reading the book series, The Magicians, and it's just, there's three books in the trilogy, so it's a trilogy, and anyway, and people are very loud today, but uh, whatever, we can ignore that, in fact, they're very loud, but anyway, so the main, well, one of the main characters, because there's a bunch of main characters, his name is Quentin, and he's such, and I think He's, um, I think he's a really interesting main character because he's, something that I really like about Magician is that it talks about, it has, the main character, Quentin, he has struggled with mental health issues and stuff like, in the TV series, which they adapted it last year, they, or two years ago actually, but, and they made a TV series about it and in the open, in the, like, first few minutes, you find Quentin in a mental hospital that he checked himself into. And I think that that, I, and I really liked how they ha, how they were addressing that fact. They had a main character who had severe depression and mental health issues. Because you see like books about that stuff, but you never really see a book that has like a that has like a fantasy plot. We're just it's just part of that. It's just part of a character's personality. That, and part of who they are that they have that mental illness you know and I think that's so fantastic to see because it proves that you can still like go on an adventure and do all this stuff and still have to cope with this which is something that isn't really portrayed in media very often and that's something really really cool that it is and, and as someone who knows a lot about depression and struggled with it it's really nice to have a character who kind of re who can kind of represent someone who has it, you know? But yeah, so that's part of the reason why I like Quentin. Plus, I really relate to him, you know? Very awkward, very kind of nerdy, very, like, well, slightly um, blunt, and maybe... But yeah, so, I relate to Quentin. I think he's a really good character, and I love The Magicians. It's a good series, and they're on season two now on the CW, or sci-fi, no, not the CW, it's on sci-fi. But yeah, so, bye.